Well, so the countdown is on for Miss Wisconsin, Christina Smaby. The Holman native left for Las Vegas yesterday to start her uh, rehearsing and her preparations mm -hmm. for the upcoming Miss America pageant. And the pageant is next weekend. But in this week's In Search Of report, we're going to find out the preparations actually began a long time ago. Current Miss Wisconsin and Holman native Christina Smaby doesn't have a lot of free time these days. Hi. With the Miss America pageant right around the corner, Christina is trying to juggle dress fittings and practicing her dance routine and mock interviews. That right there is the, the culmination of my life. And daily workouts. And drive. Good. But her biggest preparation for the national stage is actually something she's been doing for a very long time. Being Miss Christina as a dance teacher at Misty's Dance Unlimited is like being Miss America to me. That just um, really hit me hard the other day because all these young children standing in front of them knowing that their impressionable ears and impressionable eyes are watching and listening to me, that's what Miss America is. Everyone is watching her and listening to what she has to say and you are a role model. It's almost too cliche that Miss America's a role model, but it's true. That looks better than my crown. Christina stumbled into her pageant career back in 2004 when a few people in the community encouraged her to compete for Miss Holman. It just blossomed into a really big dream, Miss Wisconsin. Next up, Las Vegas, where she will compete against 50 other amazing young women. So being prepared for every aspect of the pageant is key. <laughs> There's the talent competition. It's really just been practicing my talent every other day, what my toes can handle. The interview so really portion. Mock interviews. That's a great thing because the judges don't really have pageant experience. They come from different walks of life and different perspectives on world issues and current events. So you don't know what they're going to ask. So by doing mock interviews, you get a real good idea of how you feel expressing your opinion. Then there's the evening gown section. It's really just been kind of putting together my wardrobe for competition. Left, good. And let's not forget about the dreaded Tight. swimsuit competition. Tight, awesome, awesome. The judges are told to look for confidence. And it's not about being tall or short or big or small or black or white. It's really just about does that person feel confident with the body that God gave them? We're all made different, and you feel a confidence in someone's eyes and someone's gestures when they're walking for 15 seconds across the stage. That's all it is, 15 seconds, and I'm willing to do that. Of course, she wants to win, but Christina says she feels like she already has. Just being on the Miss America stage is a moment where I need to just stand there Take a deep breath and live in the moment because it's unreal that I've made it this far. Thank you for coming. There's no disappointment. I've made it this far and this is an unbelievable dream. I'm living it and loving it. In Lacrosse, Jennifer Livingston, News Channel 8. Well, so the Miss America pageant airs on January 30th. It airs on TLC, but also new this year as a preliminary show. That's going to air on Friday, January 29th, where the audience actually gets a say in who will make the finals. Mm. Um, before that preliminary show airs on Friday, all the contestants get to vote for one girl that they would like to see make the finals. And the top 15 from the contestants' votes for each other get featured in this Friday night special, where then you will have the chance to send one of the actual girls to the finals. So if uh, the contestants pick Christina to be featured, mm -hmm. then we can all watch and text and call and vote and email and uh, yeah. and uh, help her hopefully make that top 15. And uh, good luck to her. And to we are yeah. all cheering you on. And uh, we're going to be linking you up with Christina over the uh, next week, because if you have a question that you would like to ask her, we're going to relay it to Christina. She's going to answer questions for us next week, about two a day. Um, so if you have a question you'd really like to know, you can text us 84828. Make sure to include your name because we'd like to pass that along to her too. And I know she's got a lot of dancing um, students out there that maybe want to know how her week's going or mm -hmm. what's keeping her busy or how the rehearsals are going. So again, text your question, 84828. And all next week we're going to be uh, emailing Christina and chatting with her about how her experience is going.